if you're ready. Let's sustain it for 60 minutes or whatever it takes. Mentally, is as good of a week of preparation as we've had going into the Oprah since I've been here. Now, physically, let's go out and play Northwestern football. Let's have great focus. Let's lock it in. Let's play our game. And when we race it up here, man, like we do on game day, it's time to trust yourself. Stick together. No matter what happens, stick together. Play for the warrior next to you. And let's go regain Northwestern respect. Let's go play Northwestern football. Yeah. The kicking duties from Stefan Demos. Northwestern won the toss, and they elected to defer their decision until the second half. That's a good start for Northwestern. They'll be back next week against Nevada. On third down, Bechet got a receiver, and nicely done by Peterman. The former quarterback hauls it in, helps out his quarterback at his first down yardage down to the 36. Bechet is Northwestern's guy. Another blitz coming. They beat it, and down that sideline. First down yardage into the red zone. Rasheed Ward came wide open. They did get the spot of the first down at the five, so first down and goal. And keeping it himself to the outside. Bechet is in for the score. A little hide and seek with the football, and Bechet takes it to the pylon to put Northwestern on the board for the first time here in 2007. Northeastern blitzing almost every play. Big hit, bigger hit across the middle. Kim Thompson on the look in. Bechet stood in with the rush coming, and he finds a big first down out across the 32. Because you get the guy valuable experience going into your conference play. Quick snap, not a quick hole, and a great job defensively for the Wildcats in closing up a potential hole. Turns out to be a five-yard net gain, but an automatic first down. Bechet, right down the middle. And Ross Lane on that quick post pattern gets it down to the 12. Speraza's still in the game. And on play action. Trying to create some room to throw. Firing complete, incomplete. From right here. Second down, they're trying to receive, get the receivers free in space, and it's working. You want to get in the ball as quickly as possible. That's another guy you want to get the ball as quickly as possible. Look at Sutton. A shaking break move inside the 45. Second down and two. Bechet's got a late blitz coming in, a wide open receiver. Inside the five is Yarbrough. Third down and goal. It's still always a spread offense. Bechet, receivers to choose from. Firing for the touchdown. Lane had one before that got called back. This one's going to stay on the board. Fourth down. They've got 11 yards to go. Oreo's got a little time. Same play up on top. And incomplete. He was trying to get the ball down into that corner, and Broomfield could not come up with a play by the pylon. Five receivers out there now for Bichette on a third down, and five. Blitz coming. Open receiver. First down yardage. It's Sutton out of the backfield. As they give him the ball, he continues to turn out the yards. He's in the backfield now, and he'll take the hand. Right up the middle. Kicking it to the outside. And staying on his feet. First down, yardage inside the 10 and down to the 6. That Fitzgerald going for it here on fourth down. Just over a yard needed. Sutton, right side is in. Touchdown. You have to be able to hang in there and keep your win and play in these type of games. Bechet firing. Might have been a little behind, but not too far behind. Kim Thompson. Who gets the first down inside the 30. 21 first downs. This is starting to really pile up now for Northwestern. Nice shake and great move by Sutton. So now a 35-yard field goal attempt for Villarreal. And a strong leg bangs it through. A little bit of confusion as they try to set their back. John Griffin, the little back in the backfield now for Northeastern. On second down. 
as Barraza finds Griffin, trying to make a man miss, but again it is Davey, and Davey stays right there. That's a good play, one-on-one -on -one out in space. Opportunity of points on the board. They'll take a shot right here at getting the first down. And it's going to come up well short. Chris Paul makes a catch, but only down to about the 22. Although, switch it up as Northwestern will take over. Uh, what type of person he is. He's a no-nonsense guy, but he likes to have fun, and he likes to carry the load for Northwest. Right now, it's Brandon Roberson, his backup, who's carrying the load with his big lead. I mean, they were able to rush the football. They were able to throw some passes, and, you know, that tight end was, was a viable receiver today. Uh, Murray, the running back, and also Broomfield uh, did a good job. So he can take some positive things away and get ready for the conference. Well, that's going to do it. 27 0 the final. Rocky Hager's team comes to town. Pat Fitzgerald's team will leave with a victory. For Lisa Byington and for Derek Walker, our entire Big Ten television network crew, this is Scott Graham. We thank you very much for watching. Now to our Chicago studios as we check in with Dave Revson.